Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech with Machines. Our today's topic is Catalyst Optimizer. This is one of the well-known concepts in Spark and it is mostly commonly asked question in Spark. So let's go through how uh, does an interviewer generally ask this question. Uh, there can be multiple ways to ask this question like uh, what is Catalyst Optimizer or how does it work or what role does it play in Spark architecture or uh, in general, there can be a question like how are Spark SQL queries optimized, how are their execution plans optimized, and how can you generate an execution plan of the Spark? So these are the most commonly asked questions around Catalyst Optimizer, which you will can face in, uh, in any Spark interview, as well as you should also know about Spark uh, Catalyst Optimizer if you work with Spark and or are planning to work with Spark as a data engineer. So let's go through first what does Spark Catalyst Optimizer means. Catalyst Optimizer is actually an optimization framework. It's a very powerful and a key framework in Apache Spark SQL module that optimizes both logical and physical query plans. It actually gives you a better execution plan so that your query is uh, executed efficiently. It applies a series of transformations, both rule-based and cost-based optimizations to produce efficient execution plans. Now let's see how, what are the different stages of Catalyst Optimizer or what are the key concepts in Catalyst Optimizer. The first thing which it does is creating a logical plan. So your SQL query basically gets parsed into a tree called abstract syntax tree. This tree is then converted into a logical plan where uh, specifically the mm, uh, syntax references are resolved or uh, validated or simplified so references to tables or columns will be resolved using the catalog this actually is ensuring that your logical plan is semantically correct it's syntactically correct now this logical plan is optimized further using various rule-based transformations uh, one of which you would have uh, heard about as predicate pushdown and I have created a video as well on that so which is pushing down the filters to the data source so that you minimize or you reduce the amount of data you read or load uh, using constant folding which means simplifying constant expressions like if you are doing a sum and you have added one plus one it generally will use it two against that um, uh, you can do projection pruning, which basically means removing unnecessary columns from the query or join reordering, rearranging the joins which you are using for optimal performance. Now, this logical plan gets converted into a physical plan and can get converted into more than one physical plan. Why does that happen? Because the optimizer then chooses based on the metrics like IO, CPU and network usage. It selects a plan which will be with the lowest cost trade-off. So that's a very... Um, a great a point or an advantage of the Spark where the physical plan is actually not uh, only one but more than one plans are generate plans are generated and basically they are optimized using the cost optimization technique based on the metrics. Finally, the code uh, generation happens and it um, generally implies generating the byte code for the selected physical plan and uh, spark uses tungsten execution engine will go can go into the details of this execution engine in one of the videos but for in for this video um, this is out of the scope and uh, we are basically just talking about catalyst optimizer uh, so let's take an example let's say you have a query uh, and you wrote that you want to basically select a name from employees table where age is greater than 30 right so f first as a first thing this query will be passed into an abstract syntax tree and then finally, that will be converted into a logical plan where the references to employees table or the column name and age column will be resolved. Then finally, the predicate pushdown happens where the filter age greater than 30 is applied as early as possible. And only name is selected as an output, so projection pruning. Then several physical plans uh, such as table scan with a filter or an index scan are considered and the one which is with the optimized cost is selected. And finally, this particular plan is converted into a byte code for spark to execute that's it for today uh, this was short video which i wanted to create on the catalyst optimizer and very short and crisp so that you understand it uh, in brief with one example and clearly uh, so i hope you like this video and if you di did please remember to like and subscribe thank you